What is going on everyone? It's Scott back from Crypto R Us. Now today we're going to be talking about Envion, EVN. Now Envion, this coin I've I've been seeing it everywhere all over social media. We've been seeing on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. They did really really good marketing. They pushed heavily. They put a lot of money into it. They wanted a lot of people to know about their ICO and um as a result, we've seen tremendous amount of people sign up and they hit the top six ICOs of all time. So congrats for them on doing that. Now, Envion just hit the market. Um, not much change has happened since it's uh, dropped the market at 95 cents and right now we're sitting at $1.10. So let's just jump into their website and let's uh, see what Envion is all about. So. Envion, if you guys have ever uh, seen their little ads, they have these mobile containers, these kind of uh, shipping containers, and they've pre-configured them to be a mobile cryptocurrency miner. And the whole premise behind it is they will ship these miners anywhere in the world where there is very cheap or uh, you know fr extremely low cost energy. Um, places that have wind power, solar, hydro, that sort of thing, um, where the cost of electricity is really cheap and these providers are looking for someone to use their electricity. They're willing to negotiate with people and as a result, Envion can stick these mobile mining platforms in these remote destinations and they talk back to the... Um, to their headquarters and they're all mobily uh, they're all managed uh, via 4g satellite signal and they tie right into their their power feed so they're getting extremely low electricity costs and that will allow them to mine cryptocurrencies for the best bang for your buck so right now there's tons and tons of um, mining operations all over the world you hear about mining operations in Iceland and stuff like that. I believe Genesis Mining is based out of Iceland. And the reason for Iceland is it's extremely cold and it is extremely um, good for, uh, because they have um, renewable uh, electricity there. So that is why Genesis decided to set up shop there. Now, Envion, is basically setting up shop wherever in the world they can negotiate cheap power. So whether it's a farmer's field, whether it's some um, solar power, uh, solar paneled plant in China, um, wherever they can really negotiate, they will stick their containers there and they're going to make money right away. Um, I don't know what one of these containers cost them, but um, with the with the uh, cost of Bitcoin going up, um, they're really I, I can see their ROI being pretty good. Um, I know right now, if you were to get like a a graphics card yourself, you can typically see ROI on like a GeForce 1080 Ti in like four to six months, depending on um, the hashing algorithm and the complexity. Um, and they've come up with basically a proprietary patented system. So they're not really disclosing what sort of, uh, are they using ASICs chips? Are they using, you know, uh, NVIDIA, AMD? They're not really telling people that. Um, but by investing in their platform, they're going to basically give you um, a dividend. So let's say you invest ten thousand dollars in year one you will get six thousand one hundred dollars in profit or a roi of 161 percent year two year three year four year five so essentially your profits are just going to keep going up and that is because you're investing in their infrastructure they're going to be mining and they're going to be getting cryptos and they're going to pay you because you're helping them and you're supporting them to do so. So 
extremely cool concept. I'm a big believer of renewable resources and companies like these um, are the future. And I'm not talking about Envion, but I'm talking about renewable resource vendors where they're, they have a, basically a field full of solar panels and they're trying to pump this electricity back into the grid. And if no one's willing to buy it, electricity isn't like coal or oil where you can hold it into a barrel and sell it at a later date. They have to find a buyer for it right away. So if Envion comes knocking on their doorstep and say and says, hey guys, we're gonna put 10 containers um, in your field and we want, and they're gonna negotiate a really cheap electricity cost, um, it's a no-brainer, right? These are costs that they're not, these are costs that they're not even gonna get, gonna get back anyway. So why not, uh, why not negotiate with Envion and do that? So um, yeah, I just think this is a really cool concept. Um, I know they put tons and tons of money into their marketing and on their website here, we can see they raised over 100 million US dollars and they reached the top six ICOs of all time. So really cool for them for doing that. Now this is the premise. So it's extremely mobile. They've engineered an extremely mobile mining solution uh, hosted in a standardized CSC container ready for plug and play deployment. Accessing cheap energy, the price collapse of solar panels has led to tumbling electricity prices at photovoltaic plants worldwide. Our mining units can monetize virtually free local overcapacities. It's all remotely maintained via the 4G network and they have apparently really good cooling. Now they talk about scalability. So they can essentially spin up these units and deploy them anywhere. So they have sort of an infinite scalability issue and they're claiming that their issue is going to be finding cheap, uh, cheap energy, right? Energy providers. Now these guys got tremendous, I'm talking tremendous um, marketing because they spent so much on marketing they also got a lot of good PR and we're seeing them on Yahoo, NASDAQ, Wall Street Online, Market Watch, Cointelegraph, like everyone was talking about these guys. They finally did their ICO and their ICO actually didn't go down. So that's actually really good. Good for them to do that. Um, they're trading on three exchanges right now, Token Store, Hit BTC, and IDEX. Um, BTC and ETH pairs. It's kind of the volumes kind of split across the three different uh, exchanges there. But yeah, um, what do you guys think about Envion? Um, I guess it doesn't really, it doesn't really have a. Uh, you're not investing in a kind of a, a platform, but you're more so investing in a physical product. They talk about you investing in their infrastructure. So you essentially are gonna own a portion of one of these crates and they're gonna pay you a dividend. So um, a lot of the best investors, and I'm talking about the stock market investors, they don't invest in stocks unless they pay dividends. And the reason for that is it's money making money making money. So it's compounding itself and over the long term, you're gonna see way better growth on your initial investment than if you just invested in a stock that um, didn't pay dividends. So I can see the premise behind that. Um, and I know the renewable energy market is growing every single year. You have tons and tons of government regulation cutting back on coal and pushing and giving tons and tons of incentives for companies to invest in, you know, hydro, solar, wind. And if they have overcapacity, what better way to monetize on that than sell it to Envion and then make cryptocurrency that much bigger for everyone else. So with that being said, guys, thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe. We're going to be coming out with crypto videos every single day. 
telling you which ones to buy and which ones to stay away from. And if you guys missed the ICO Envion, it's not too late. Um, this coin just got released, and I think it's got tons and tons of potential. Over $100 million was raised. I don't know how many people participated in the ICO. They didn't announce that number. But based on that amount of um, money, I can see it being a five-digit or even a six-digit number. So there's tons of potential behind Evion. Lots of people believe in it. Lots of people are standing by it. And I think it has uh, tons of potential to make it into a top 50 coin. So with that being said, guys, thanks for watching and talk to you later.